what's up guys? Dale Valor here from Modern Valor Dating. Listen, somebody had commented on one of our videos a few weeks ago that I thought was a great video topic. They were asking me a few questions in the comments. We always read the comments. I respond to pretty much any comment, but I respond to every comment that gets dropped. And I told the guy, I was like, dude, that's a good video idea. I'm gonna do a video on that. So here's what we're gonna be talking about. How you, as a guy, if you have below average looks, can still succeed. You know, so I did some thinking on that. And you know, I've worked with a lot of different guys of all shapes, forms, sizes, colors, whatever you wanna call it, man. I've worked with guys that are what you might consider conventionally attractive, and I've worked with guys that you would definitely not consider that, okay? So here's the deal. I got five tips on guys, if you feel like you're below average in looks, how you can still build attraction, how you can still get out there and crush it. We're gonna get into that right now, let's get it. Number one, how you make her feel. See, when it comes to attraction, that's ultimately what it boils down is, how she feels about you, right? Looks to play a part, okay? But some, you see a lot of different guys who they put all women in the same box. And they, you know, like almost like a hive mentality where it's like they all have the same standard and they're all into the same thing. They all like everything the same. And that is definitely, definitely not the case, man. And so you bring more to the table than what you think that you might. All right, so look, it's not about being the best looking guy on planet Earth, but what it is about is how you make her feel and we're gonna go really deep in that in the rest of the video but one things that you what are the things that you could do with your looks man just to enhance your looks somewhat is find a haircut that works for you all right um, make sure that you wear clothes that fit you correctly you know uh, have a stylish look about yourself a little bit of an edge you know those are all things that you can do to work on your looks and Basically, you want to be well groomed is what it boils down to, all right? And that's gonna help you immensely. If you look like you take care of yourself, it shows that you have self-respect. And if you have self-respect, that goes a long way. All right, we're gonna get to number two. Let's get it. Number two, your frame. All right, so when I'm talking about your frame, what I'm talking about is the way that you present yourself. In part, that's looks, but in a large part, it's the quality and character of who you are. And that you don't put women on a pedestal, that you don't chase them, that you don't act like a knight in shining armor. All those things that you don't just hang around and, and orbit around her and all that kind of stuff. It, you know, neutering yourself just to be in her presence. If she's an attractive girl, she's used to that. She's used to guys giving up that power to do that kind of stuff. You know, if you establish yourself as a guy that doesn't do that, it's gonna go a long way. What that says about you is, you are probably used to being around attractive women because if you hold your frame and you don't fall into her frame what that's going to show is that you have inner strength all right both of you have a frame whoever falls into whoever's frame is the loser so to speak all right so look if she's like hey can you come over and paint my house and you're like sure you're pretty i'll come paint your house like dude come on man with the intention of well, if I come paint her house, maybe she'll like me. You know, like, dude, come on. That, that's not gonna happen. If anything, she's gonna have less respect for you because she's gonna be like, oh, okay, he's another one of those guys. I can just have go do my bidding, right? So look, man, have some self-respect for yourself. Don't put her on a pedestal. She's a person like anybody else. So what? She got lucky in the gene pool, all right? Fine. but. She doesn't, you don't have to give her award after award for being lucky, all right? So look, man, just hold a strong frame. Don't fall into her frame, and that is gonna do you a world of good, all right? We're gonna get number three, let's get it. Number three, 
social proof. All right, look, if you are a guy that has a lot of things going on, you've got a healthy calendar, a bunch of social events going on, and a gang of friends to go do it with, and you're the guy that stirs the drink, that is highly attractive. If you have people that want to hang out with you, other attractive women that are always around you, that is going to make a world of difference. All right, put it like this. Okay, so say there's the best looking guy in the world, all right, and he's at the club. And then you have a guy that's a big fat guy, all right, at the club, um, maybe a little bit older, maybe he's balding, you know, uh, kind of sloppy looking a little bit, but still has on clubbish clothes, all right? Now, here's this best looking guy in the world who's just like mean mugging everybody, you know, just kind of looking around and he's got on a shirt that's three sizes too big and it's got a bunch of stains on it and his nails are all dirty. He's got some ripped up jeans and some beat up tennis shoes or something like that. Then you got the fat guy that I'm talking about who's hanging out, having a good time, you know, got a woman in each arm and everybody's around him and, and everybody's just having a blast. Who do you think the girls want to go talk to? They want to go talk to the guy that's having a good time. They want to talk to the guy that clearly knows everybody. He's popular. That's the guy that they want to go talk to, not the guy that's the best looking guy in the world, okay? Ultimately, they want to have a good time. They want to have fun. And if this best looking guy in the world is just mean mugging everybody, looks like he doesn't want to be there, they don't want to hang out with that guy. All right, man, we're going to get to number four. Let's get it. Number four, your charm. All right, look, if you are a guy that's charming, you're charismatic, you make friends easily, you know, you know how to carry a conversation, you know how to tell a joke at the right time, you're witty, all those things is going to do you a world of good and it's gonna make a huge difference, all right? Because listen, again, this all goes back to how you make her feel. And if you make her feel like this guy is super interesting. This guy is very charismatic. He's very charming. It's gonna go a long way, man, because listen, a girl doesn't wanna hang out with a guy that's boring, a guy that's not having a good time, a guy that doesn't know how to carry on a conversation and spark interests and all that kind of thing. Some of the ways that you can work on being charming is look for conversational threads. You know, as you're conversing, Remember some of the stuff that she says and then start weaving that into the conversation, taking the conversation other places. You know, make sure you have good eye contact. Make sure that your tonality is good, your body language is good. All those things, it's gonna go a long way in you coming across as a charming individual. All right, so, all right, man, we're gonna get to number five, let's go. Hey guys, wanna take this quick time out just to remind you, make sure that you subscribe to this channel, man. We want to be able to bring you this information as quickly as possible. If you're getting value out of it, man, it costs you nothing to subscribe to the channel, but it means a lot to us because we can keep going, we can keep moving forward. So make sure you do that. Also, give us a thumbs up, man. Drop a comment in the comment section on things that you want us to cover, you know, or whatever the topic of the video is about, chop it up with us, man. Let us know what you think, you know? So drop that comment, share it with somebody that you know needs to hear it. Also, the last Saturday of every month, we do a live Zoom event. We will have it linked up here. And what I want you to do is register for that, man. It's 100% free. This month, we're going to be talking about social circle game. So what does it mean to build out a social circle? How you can do that? Why is that important? We're going to give you all those answers, man, and show you step by step how to do that for it to work for you. Remember the last Saturday of every month. All right, we're going to hop back into the video. Let's get it. 
Number five, cocky, funny behavior. All right, listen, if you're not the most attractive looking guy in the world, what you can be is cocky, funny. All right, what do I mean by that? Look, man, it's a playful demeanor. It's, you know, how you would treat a kid's sister. It's how you would treat a little cousin. It's, you know, basically acting almost like they're bothering you, but playfully, you know, ribbing them, uh, making little remarks and, and, and comments and little throwing little pebbles. You know, when I say that, what I'm talking about is, you know, she says something to you. You know, she might say something to the effect of, I don't usually date guys like you. And you could just say something to the effect of, well, you know, first time for everything, or that's cute, or, or something along those lines. You're not letting things affect you. It's playful, fun energy when they're giving you shit tests. And you know what, as a matter of fact, in the comments below, I would love to hear what some of your best responses are to when you get a shit test, all right? And also, we did a video a little while back on frame control, all right? So what I want you to do is go to that video. We're gonna link it up here. We go really deep on it, and it really shows you how to hold your frame when the pressure is on, all right? So I want you to go check that out, and I will see you there.